A more than 50-year-old pedestrian bridge over I-90 is deemed unsafe for the community. Now the Washington Department of Transportation is getting ready to take it down. Crews are busy moving power lines today, gearing up to demolish the Magnolia Street pedestrian bridge in East Central Spokane. Tonight at 6.30, our Peter Choi has community reaction to this project and the detours you need to know to get around it this weekend. The drive along I-90 is changing. The starting Saturday night, WashDOT will demolish Magnolia Street Pedestrian Bridge, and that project will close I-90 between the Division and Freya, and that means major detours. Crossing the Magnolia Street Pedestrian Bridge for years, a neighbor says this bridge has been the quickest way to get to the park on the other side. We like to go across this bridge in the summer, usually quite often, every two days maybe, or every two, three days. He says, however, some of the bridge damage has been a concern for a long time, especially as a parent. Notice that there is some corrosion up on this uh, bridge. And I was thinking, maybe they need to fix it or not. Because <laughs> the rocks would fall off, off the bridge on the freeway. At the recommendation of our bridge preservation office, uh, they recommended to close the bridge and take it down because structurally, uh, it likely over the next couple of years would no longer support the weight. Beginning at 8 p.m. Saturday night, rims and lanes will be slowly closing. Expect a full closure in both directions by 10 p.m. If heading west, drivers are asked to get off at Freya, Sprague, and 2nd Avenue to Division Street and get back on I-90 again. And heading east, get off at Division, Sprague, and Freya to be back on I-90. The Gonzaga game is at home on Saturday. We've been coordinating with their marketing and communications team uh, because we do anticipate that it is probable that the game will get out right around the time we start closing I-90 down. He says the eastbound Hamilton on ramp will be closed so fans should take detours to the Altamont on ramp instead. Second and third avenues will be closed. This closure is expected to last until 8 a.m. on Sunday. We'll see how it goes. I can't stop it, but I'm just concerned. In Spokane, Peter Choi, 4 News Now.